I've been taken to the tomb, Simon Peter ran, as did the other mystic of yeah. Christ, who was a beloved. No, 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 no. Both of them ran together yeah. and found the linen cloths inside by themselves lying and also not with these was a napkin from his head lying rolled up and therefore they went back in peace until they saw the Lord Christ. Great and extraordinary things you have accomplished for me. O Christ, my Lord, most merciful, for inexplicably you were born of the Virgin Maiden. O Savior and accepted crucifixion and suffer death, and in glory arose after three days. You liberated from death our nature. O Christ, to your glory we glorify you. Glory be to your power. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you. saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. O Lord, your burial has opened paradise to the human race. And now that we have been set free from death and decay, we extol you, our God, who has risen, and have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him to the abundance of his greatness. Let us extol the Father and the Spirit, and also Christ, who rose from the dead. And to him let us cry aloud, you life and our resurrection have mercy on us praise praise him with the sound of trumpet praise him with the harp and lyre you rose within three days from the tomb O Christ, as Holy Scripture says, also raising our progenitor with you. Now all mankind together forever glorifies you, and we extol your resurrection, O Lord. Praise, praise him with a tremble and dance, praise him with strings and flute. O oh Lord, the mystery of your resurrection is great and awesome. You destroyed death by death in order to free Adam. And you came forth from the sepulcher like a bridegroom from his bridal chamber. Therefore in heaven the angels celebrate and then on earth all we human beings, glory to your compassion towards us, O benevolent Lord. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols. <laughs> Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. O villainous leaders of the Jews, who are the seals where 
are the seals and where is the money that you gave to the soldiers the treasure was not stolen but he rose like a strong man you were put to shame for you denied Christ the Lord the Lord of glory who suffered and was buried and who rose from the dead as for us, let us worship him. Arise, O Lord my God, let your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your poor to the end. The tomb had been sealed, so how were you robbed, O Jewish leaders? After all, you posted guards and affixed the seals, and yet while the doors were shut, the king came forth. Either produce him as dead, or worship him as God, and join us in singing glory to your cross and to your resurrection, O Lord. and the Holy Spirit. Behold, old oh, it is early and still dark, and why, O oh Mary, are you standing outside at the tomb? With much darkness covering your <coughs> mind, such that you seek where Jesus has been laid. But see how the disciples who ran together understood the resurrection from the linen cloth and the napkin and then remember the scripture concerning this with them and through them we also have believed and we extol you Christ, the giver of life. Both now and ever, unto the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotoko, for through him who from you became incarnate, Hades has been captured, and Adam has been called back. The curse has been killed, and he has been freed. Death has been put to death, and we have been brought back to life. Therefore we extol him and cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. Glory to you. Receive our prayer, 
You, Lord, have mercy. At the Father's right, and have mercy on Grant us. This, o Lord. For only you are the Holy Grant One. This, o Lord. Only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. Grant this, o Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Grant this, O Lord. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever. For you are the God of mercy. In love for mankind, and you will glorify Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In any bonds, in peace be with you all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Holy Lord, you dwell on high and see the things below. You look upon all creation with your overseeing eye. We bow our soul and body and pray to you, O Holy of Holies. Extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you, our God, show mercy to us and save us. In you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Teach me your commandments. Blessed is Christ our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy in us and save us. Through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron of our church, of the saints, Focas the holy martyr, Ezekiel the prophet, and Pelagia the righteous, whose memory we observe today, and of all the saints, to the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord guide your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Holy, immortal, have mercy on us, holy God. Holy Lord, I remember your priesthood, your priesthood, you're the act. Holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Bestowing on us victory and his great mercy. Evlo is a vespata. Blessed is the kingdom of Loyima and Evasilia to Patros, get to you, get to you, Pnevmatos Nin Kei. Christus eonas ton eonon. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, for those who are into with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
Watch Bishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faith who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have so mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, memory and most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, lady of the faith, God, Tocus, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and, love and our whole life unto Christ our Look God. Look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion. Grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come in our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and have a virgin. And Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and Lord one God, another in our whole life under Christ, our protect God. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return. For yours your is the power, dominion, the, the kingdom, and the, kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, your God, O Zion, from one generation to the next. So, so, ni masi epeu, o anastas ek nekron, salon dasi, Alleluia. Dox apatrikeon, ke aion premati, ke nin ke ai, only begotten Son and Word of God, although we mortal, you humbled yourself for our salvation, taking flesh from the holy Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change becoming man, Christ our God. You were crucified, but conquered death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. 
to the Lord. Help us, save Lord us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. We gather in your name, Lord, fulfill the petitions Come of the Lord. Come, most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, Lord of the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master and Lord God, who establish in heaven the order of hosts and angels and archangels to minister to your glory, grant that your holy angels may enter with us together, we may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. For you did vanquish Hades and uncorrupted by its touch. You came to the virgin woman bestowing the gift of life. O oh, you who rose from the dead, Lord, we give glory to you. Sophia, O come let us worship and bow down before Christ. Our Lord, save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Intercession with our Creator that never fails. 
We sinners beg you, do not ignore the voices of our prayers. O oh, good lady, we implore you, when we come unto our aid, when we cry out to you with faith, hurry to intercession and hasten to supplication. O oh, Theotokos, who protect now and ever those who honor you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim of the thrice holy hymn and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being and adorned them with all your gifts. You have created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them. You have given wisdom and understanding to the supplicant that not overlooked the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lonely and unworthy servant, to stand at this hour for the glory of your holy altar and to offer you to worship and praise, Master. Accept the thrice holy hymn, also from the lips of us sinners, and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercession of the holy Theodokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, for you are God our holy, and to you give glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. With conviction, the enemies. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good to edify him. For Christ did not please himself but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached thee fell on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may, with one voice, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Be with you all, and with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory <coughs> to you. At that time, as Jesus passed on from there, two blind men followed him, crying aloud. 
have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be done to you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus sternly charged them, See that no one knows it. But they went away and spread his fame throughout all the district. As they were going away, behold, a dumb demon, dumb, demonic was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casts out demons by the prince of, dark, by the prince of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom of healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel in all of you. Again, we bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O oh God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us so that they may always worship you with reverence and love and partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. Το πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και Αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ήταν και ουρ. 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 Great and awesome, even for your heavenly powers, but because of your immeasurable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You assert as a high priest and as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, your sinful and worthy servants, the only power of your Holy Spirit, so invested with the grace of priests, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. You, I come about head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant. Worthy to offer to these gifts for you, O Christ our God, who offers and is offered, who receives and distributes, and to we give glory to the eternal Father, in your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We miss the chair of Christ, the Lord, and the other side of the Bible, Lord, and the Catholic Church. Invisibly escorted by the angelic powers. We have beheld the resurrection of Christ, the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord. According to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin that my mother bare me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. <clears throat> Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you are no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering. You would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. 
heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your good pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar. And have mercy upon me, O God. Quando ni mon ni si kirios o theos endi vasili aftu quando te ninke ahi ke isu se onas tone onu. Bog, bog, spomjene, sve naču carvo svoje, svada sada i uvek i u sve veku vaj. Amin. El Senjor, Dios te guarde do nosotros, en su reino eternamente ora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord God remember all you in his kingdom, both now and forever, and under the ages of ages. May God your Lord reach into his kingdom of now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. The noble Joseph taking down your most pure spotless body, wrapped it in a tomb. Kyrie <speaking> in <Hebrew> 
Κύριου να ηθόμαν. For deliverance from all affliction, threat, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy, accept the sacrifice of praise. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian unto our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. The Lord is the defender of my life. With your spirit. Let us love one another with one mind we may confess. the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand our eye, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Anus us, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them unto the Eucharistis, Lord. let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and 
is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you in all place of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever, and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six wing, soaring with their wings, crying out, singing, proclaiming, and hearing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say you are holy and most holy. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather, when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands. He gave thanks, he blessed, he sanctified, he broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete faiete tut muestito soma, to iperimon kolomenon is afes in amartion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Pietex of tu pandes tu tu estito emamu, to tis genis diathikis, to iperimon kepolon echinomenon is afes in amartion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. Tarsa ecton son si prosferomen kata panda ke dia panda. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessed ascetics, and for every spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. We commemorate today for all your saints and your supplications. God bless us. Remember those who call people to eternal life. Maximus and Zoe, George, President Athanasius, George Anastasius, Alexander Theodora, Demidos, President Yanni Athanasius, Socrates the priest, George, Harry, Salalambos, for the servants of God. Constantine, Cleopatra, for the servant of God, 
Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember also those of each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, who do charitable work, who serve the Holy Church, and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And we pray, O oh Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for peace in Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for the servants of God, our ecumenical patriarch, Bartholomew, Archbishop, El Pido Fodos, John the Priest, Ron, Mary Lubov, Kay, Steve, Margarita, George, Gus, George, Sergio, Spirit, Ana Elena, Gary, Craig, Fortuna, Angela, Tina, Crisula, Elaine, Stella, Christopher, Melicha, Lloyd Jr., Mirofodo, John, Nicholas, Georgette, Rachel, Water, Abby, Alexander, Felice, Mike, Ivan, Ethan, Cleonas, Bao, Vasilios, Tula, John, Vasiliki, Zoe, Elizabeth, Eleni, and Bree. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. I bring you much love and joy in the Lord's resurrection. Such a beautiful day as we welcomed in two beautiful babies and mothers into the church and we pray for many years of health and happiness and joy. The cycle of the church is so beautiful. We welcome in faithful into the church through prayers, through baptism, and we also offer memorial prayers for our loved ones who have passed on. You see, as I've said time and time again, as we enter the church, when we say the words of lo yimeni vasilia, blessed is the kingdom, we enter the kingdom of God. And thus we are praying with those who are here and those who have gone before us, those who are struggling in this life and those who have struggled. And it is indeed such a blessing for us all. We welcome in the altar Subdeacon Theoyanis, who's here. Theoyanis Allen, he's here with his parents, Jeffrey and Elaine Allen. I see her there. Elaine is an amazing person, a senior advisor to our Archbishop in New York. And I can tell you personally, when we were dealing with, when I was the president of the APC and working together with the Archdiocese for our clergy pension, Elaine was central and key in securing the pension fund for the future of our clergy. We give thanks to her for all she'd done, and we welcome her to our church and some deacon Theoyanis and Jeffrey, her husband. I also see Deacon Matthew and Diakonisa out there. Next time you got to come serve with us but it's a blessing to have you as he always comes down from St. Paul Hempstead. It's a blessing to have them come. At St. Mark, we are always looking within and we are looking out. We are looking out to help those who are less fortunate. Last week, two weeks ago, we had a beautiful event where we raised almost $50,000 for our St. Mark Church in Kenya that we're building. Indeed, a blessing. We're hoping to move forward as well. IUCC has contacted us and we're hoping to send a home build team later this fall to Fort Myers area working together with our national philopticos. I just received that call on Friday and we're very excited to partner with them. While it's going to take place during the year, it probably will not be with our Goya that we usually do it with, but you see our beautiful young adults who are present. Maybe they're back from school, all of our black robes in there. We'll see what we can do to try to do something with our young adults and also our adults of the parish. You'll notice that we're also 
reaching out in regard to our Florence Fuller backpacks. I ask you, if you have not done so, to please scan the QR code today and make a donation for a backpack. They will go toward children who are less fortunate here in Boca Raton. It's such a blaze, blessing. Last year, we had over 120 backpacks donated. We're hoping to break that record this year. And also, of course, we're always reaching out, but we need to reach in. And what do I mean by that? During the 15 days of August is a beautiful time for us to look in, to place a focus on the Panagia, the Mother of God, and to focus on her as she's always interceding for us. It's a beautiful opportunity. At St. Mark this year, we are going to offer four classes on the Theotokos, on the Theotokos, the scripture, the hymnology, how the theology was formed after those services here. There'll be four of them taking place between August 1st and 15th, culminating, of course, with Vespers at our sister church, St. Mary's in West Palm Beach, the Antiochian church, and then here on August 15th, honoring the Mother of God here at St. Mark. You're all encouraged to be present for all of these beautiful things that we do because ultimately they help us enter the kingdom here. They help us enter the kingdom of God here on earth. May our Lord bless us always and keep us safe and healthy. Amen. Having commended all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, we return sound, return sent down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries, your precious body and blood, from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation to dare to call you the heavenly God Father and to say, Que cataxias sonimas despota, metaparisias, a catacritos tolman epicalices se, tone puranion theum patera, que legin paterimon, o en dis uranis, a yacito tonomasu, el feto e vasiliasu, yenicito to celimasu, os en urano que epitigis, tonar tonimon tone piusion, dosim in simera. Και άφησε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών, ω και εμεί αφήμε του φαλάτε ημών. Και εμεί ενέγγυσε εμά εσπυρασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμά από το πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We give thanks to invisible King by your infinite power. You created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those of us who have bowed our heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel. Heal the sick, physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, proscomen. This I is the holy gift for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, yet not divided, forever eaten, you never consume. Sanctify by those who partake of him, Jesus, Christos, Nika, Jesus Christ, conquers. The cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have mercy on me, Son of God. This morning, we are graced with these words in the gospel reading, where those who are infirmed call out. They see Christ himself, and they say, Have mercy on me, Son of God, proclaiming from their hearts. This is a message that we can all attend to today and in each of the days and moments of our lives. And I ask you, how often do you call upon the name of the Lord from the depths of your soul? Is it only when you are in need? Rather, is it only when we are in need? Do we only call out to God when there is a problem in our lives, something that needs to be fixed? Or do we have a daily regimen of prayer where we start by thanksgiving to God, saying, thank you, Lord, for the blessings and your great goodness, for your mercy at all times, and proceed to then ask something of him? Bringing forth infirmities of the flesh and spirit is something that is in today's gospel. The first two that see Jesus Christ are those who are blind. And they come forth to our Lord with their physical infirmities. All of us have some pain of body or soul. And then they say, later in the gospel, those who were present say, never was anything seen like this. Can you imagine seeing the Lord work miracles? and then proclaiming in your heart that nothing was ever seen like this. So the mercy of God is something that is truly for us all. And God's mercy is omnipresent before us, which means that it is always in our midst. God's mercy is always here to help us in our lives. And I'd like to go forth through the course of our lives and in the ministry of the church to talk about this. And although Father Mark and I prepared our words separately, we work closely together, so these things in the life of the church and in the priesthood will sound similar, and they will have some similar notes to what was shared just a few minutes ago. So certainly God's mercy is apparent through the process of childbirth, a new child is born into the world. God's mercy is shown right before us. 
that grace-filled period of 40 days, just as we welcomed two families into the church today, the mercy of God that was present in their households is now the same mercy that brings them back into the fold of the church to bring them closer together and to bring them back to our merciful Lord in his holy house. Speaking of which, a mother's mercy is a truly a great gift. We remember this especially in anticipation of the first 15 days of August. The Virgin Mary received mercy into her womb, and by virtue of such, she became a beacon of mercy herself. So when we go through this period of the first 15 days, let us prepare ourselves to partake of these things, to partake of the mercy of our Virgin Mary. And also, when we call out in these services of paraclesis, the supplications, we are asking for her to mercifully pray for us on our behalf. So once again, mercy is shown forth. And like yesterday, we ask that our Lord's mercy is given to those who are baptized, to those that are there present. And your merciful Holy Spirit, O Lord, come and sanctify these waters to make them blessed as you were blessed in the Jordan River yourself. And so through holy baptism, we are renewed and we are given life once again. Also through the gift of friendship and love and life, through marriage, we ask that the Lord sends down his mercy to bless this marriage just as he blessed that marriage in Cana of Galilee. He was merciful to his mother when she called out to him and said, Son, it is time for you to make a miracle today and make this water into wine. Once again, showing the Virgin Mary's love for us all. We can show mercy by giving to those in need, those who may be more apparent in need and those who may be more quietly in need. I can tell you this by the way that some of what Father Mark and the other clergy and many of our faithful do. When we receive a call at any time of the day or the night and we go out and we visit somebody in their difficult time, we visit somebody on the hospital table, we visit somebody who is homebound, we visit people we're blessing their homes or greeting their family, once again, gathering together to share of God's love and mercy. We also have a beautiful ministry here that shows mercy to those who are incarcerated, visiting and writing to those who are behind bars, giving them one piece of mercy that they may not receive otherwise. I'm also reminded of those parents who are saying bye to their children as they go off to college this year. And just a few weeks, if not sooner, the mercy of God is what they will trust in the most. And we certainly pray for their wellness moving forward. Also, mercy is seen, especially seen, at the funeral service. And just as we gathered recently, we hear the following. As we continue to offer the prayers they end with the hymn, the small piece that says, Have mercy on me, O Lord. So from the very first time of life, when someone is born, to the very end of their earthly life, we are looking at God's mercy and recognizing such. Just like those in today's gospel who reach out and they say, Have mercy on me, O son of David. I ask each of you today as something to look forward to this week to look personally to God, offering the most difficult peace that you may encounter in life, something you toil with in your hearts, and lift that up to God. In fact, bring that pain you may have and the one that only you and God knows, 
and to offer it to God as he offers himself to you in the divine and life-giving Eucharist. My brothers and sisters, the mercy of God is with us right now. The greatest act of mercy is being prepared by our clergy at this present moment to share God himself as the one who can bring healing to any infirmity of body and flesh. Have mercy on me, O son of David, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe and confess, yes, Lord, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, Christ the, the Son of God, living God, who came into, into the world to save sinners, sinners of whom I am the first. first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I will be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Μετά φόβο θεού πίστεως και αγάπης προσέρθετε. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near.
Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from all my fears he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly be glad. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Look to him and be radiant, that your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor cry out, the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. Let the lonely hear and be glad. camp around those who fear him to rescue them taste and see that the Lord is good happy are they who take refuge in him I will bless the Lord at all times his praise be ever on my lips my soul will glory in the Lord let the lonely hear and be glad. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O sono Theos, ton maon su ke vloi son tin krinonomian su. Save, O oh God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has saved us. of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, crazy, heavenly life, creating awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthy give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, and to you we offer glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the entire body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not abandon us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces stationed throughout the world and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift comes from above, from you the Father of lights. And to you we offer glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of angels. Amen. Christ. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a 40-day memorial for Sofia Valadares, a three-year memorial for Catherine Cara Georgia Sharp, a one-year memorial for Urania Paracas, a 10-year memorial for Claire Grossomanidis and a 14-year for Stephen Grossomanidis. We also pause today as an entire archdiocese and we offer memorial prayers for those victims who 49 years ago were slaughtered at the Turkish invasion in Cyprus. We know and we hold dear to our hearts and we pray for those heroes who lost their loved ones. And we also ask our Lord to bring complete fullness to that beautiful island so that we may continue to give glory to your holy name. We pray these names, offering them to our Lord in his heavenly kingdom. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. You are God who descended into Hades and freed the captives from their bondage. Grant rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Now and forever into the ages of ages, Amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, O Christ, we pray to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, no more sorrow, nor suffering, but life everlasting. <laughs> Sing us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Sophia, Urania, Catherine, Claire, Stephen, Eleni, 
for all of those who have fallen asleep and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed memory and eternal repose of all the Cypriot heroes who fought and fell for faith and for homelands and for forgiveness of their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The God of spirits and of all flesh who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, Sophia, Urania, Catherine, Claire, Stephen, Eleni, for those Cypriot heroes who fought and fell for their faith in their homeland. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the rest, who has fallen asleep in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no one who person who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> Τον και κινημένον δούλων σου, όν εμνημονεύσαμε, Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν, συν τον άρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο, και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αγί, και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. For you, O Christ, our God of the resurrection, the life, in the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep. And to you we give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Eternal be your memory, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous answers to God, Joy Kimenana, of St. Focas, St. Pelagia the righteous, whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Dios contena yo paterni mon kirios su Christe o Theos, eleison que sos animas. 
May the Holy Trinity be kept to keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. If I can just announce two more visitors today, which came in after, a Terry Swan and Barbara Swan, who are here visiting. We're excited to have you here. Join us here at St. Mark. And a very beautiful note, which I received an email from the Dodge family, Ronald Dodge Jr. and Angela. They have been participating online at St. Mark since 2019 with the pandemic. They drove all the way from Columbus, Ohio with their family to attend in person. They're visiting Florida. So it's indeed a true blessing for us to have them here worshiping with us. We see the benefits and the joys of our online ministry that reaches out not just to our faithful here, but throughout all the world. And we also welcome Greg Panagus, who's here with us today. I saw him earlier. And Christine, his lovely fiance, who's with him. I hope fiance, maybe girlfriend, I, maybe I took it a step too quick. But God bless you all. We look forward to seeing you in the fellowship hall. Enjoy the day. May God's blessings always be upon you all. Amen. Reminder, there is divine liturgy on Thursday for St. Pandeleimon. We have his relics that are here.